Hello! Today we're talking about a topic that's reshaping how we think about food production and a way to bring agriculture into the cities. We'll be talking about urban farming. Welcome back to Fresh K-Town. Urban farming, also known as urban agriculture, is the practice of growing food in cities and densely populated areas. It takes many forms, including community gardens, where neighbors share plots to grow vegetables and fruits, rooftop farms, which transform unused spaces into productive green areas, and vertical farming, a high-tech agricultural approach, usually indoors, where plants grow in stacked layers often using hydroponic systems and artificial lighting to maximize food production in limited areas. Urban farming can have a significant impact on how we access food. With growing urban populations, food security and accessibility are becoming more pressing issues. Many communities have limited access to fresh produce, but urban farms can bring locally grown food closer to those who need it. Additionally, by eliminating the need for long-distance transportation, urban farming can cut down emissions and could also contribute to a more resilient local food system. And beyond just providing food, urban farming provides educational opportunities, helping people develop a better understanding of where their food comes from without having to leave the city. Of course, urban farming isn't without its challenges, though. Space is a major constraint as cities are densely packed, urban farms might be competing against living space. Even when land is available, soil contamination is often a concern due to pollution, requiring solutions such as raised beds or hydroponics. Another significant barrier are high costs. Setting up a hydroponic or vertical farm requires investment in land and technology, and the running costs for indoor farms are usually extremely high. Zoning laws and regulations can also pose a challenge, as some cities have strict rules that could hinder urban agriculture, like limits on rooftop structures or water usage. Additionally, urban farms, especially indoor ones, can have high electricity demands, which raises questions about sustainability depending on how that electricity is generated. Despite these challenges, urban farming is increasingly being recognized as a viable solution in cities worldwide. In the United States, cities like New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles have incorporated urban farms into their cityscape with projects like Gotham Greens, which operates rooftop hydroponic farms to produce fresh vegetables year-round. In Singapore, where land is extremely limited, the government has invested in high-tech vertical farms to improve food self-sufficiency. If you're thinking about starting your own urban farm, but don't know where to start, you don't need a massive setup to get started. The best way is to start small. Joining a community garden can be a great first step, giving you access to space and knowledge from experienced growers. If you're interested in controlled environment growing, you could experiment with a simple DIY hydroponic system at home. Even something as basic as growing herbs on a windowsill or balcony counts as urban farming. In conclusion, urban farming is more than just growing food. It's about reshaping how we live, eat, and connect with the food production in our cities. Whether your goal is to contribute to food security, reduce your environmental impact, or just enjoy the satisfaction of growing your own fresh basil, urban farming offers a way to make it happen. That's it for today's video. If you learned something new, leave a like and subscribe for more agricultural insights. Got any thoughts or experience with urban farming? Drop a comment down below. And as always, until next time, keep on growing. Peace.